The Rockford Ice Dogs open up their three-game trek through the Lone Star State of Texas, all part of their season-long five-game road trip tonight, taking on the Texas Stars. Joseph Zakszewski with you alongside head coach Derek King for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the Game. And Coach King, pretty busy stretch for the Ice Dogs on the road for this long, yep. but it's probably nice to get away from the hustle and bustle that is the Midwest right now, yep. especially with the standings points being what they are and everything being so tight. Yeah, it is. It's nice to get on the road and, uh, you know, just play some simple road hockey, and that's what we have to do. Uh, big games these next three so we'll see how we respond after the Chicago game. Three games in three days this past weekend for you. You won game number one Friday against San Antonio. We dropped the Milwaukee contest and the Chicago game. You mentioned it right there. 5-1 setback in Chicago. What are you taking away from that contest and looking to address tonight? Well you know watching the game uh, I had a couple days to watch the game and make some clips and uh, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was. We had some real good zone time. We had some opportunities to score. I, I was saying to the guys in the meeting that if, if we had one more period, we might have even came back from that. Um, you know, you go 4-1, you think you get a quick one, but, you know, they come back and uh, nail the, the, the nails in the coffin, as you say. But I, I like some a lot of the things we did, so we just got to bring that into the road trip. Now the Ice Dogs rolling against Texas Stars tonight. You get forward Philip Kershaw back for that game against Chicago. He missed 25, but you lose forward John Quinville. Did not travel with the team here to Texas. It kind of seems that gain one, lose yeah. one in the last couple of weeks for yeah, you. Yeah, it hasn't been a perfect uh, year for the uh, you know when we're timing for injuries and guys coming back. But yeah, Q just he wrenched his neck in the Milwaukee game, and then he collided with somebody in the Chicago game, and he just wasn't feeling right. Uh, so we'll just you know precautionary just leave him at home and let him get some rest and hopefully he's ready for when we come back. The NHL trade deadline also comes and goes for the Rockford Ice Dogs and their big club the Chicago Blackhawks. I'd imagine as an AHL coaching staff you're on the pins and needles a little yeah. bit wondering what the big club's going to do because sometimes when you hear of draft picks and prospects moving around in these deals a lot of those prospects are with your AHL club. How was that Monday for you? Yeah I, I mean it's I always kind of watch it and my uh, oldest keeps me updated on what's going on but I try not to get too uh, worried about it. Uh, you know I think uh, getting T.J. Brennan was uh, huge for us, and uh, he's going to help us on the back end, and he's going to help us on the power play. So that was a good trade. You know, I wish uh, Nolsey all the luck, but uh, this, you know, you got to move on, and uh, we got a real cal uh, classy caliber player in uh, T.J. Brennan. Well, for T.J., he comes in now the most experienced player in that ice hog locker room. Yeah. It seems like you're progressing with Cramorosa, then the Garrett Mitchell now to T.J., over a decade's worth of experience, but he hasn't played a whole lot this year with Lehigh Valley, where he has been the last four seasons. What are your expectations of him as he's trying to find his footwork? Well, I just play his play it simple. Uh, he doesn't need to come out here and wow us. Um, uh, he has that in his game. He does some uh, real good things out there, and he can. he's got some skill, but... We just want him to focus on, you know, simple plays, getting pucks out of our end, the first pass being clean, and then helping our power play with his shot. And he also brings a lot of size as well. You look at him and Ian McCosh, and they're probably some of the bigger bodies you've had on the blue line all season long, mixing Dennis Gilbert as well. It seems yeah. like he'll have a nice little edge to his yeah. game also. Yeah, he does. He can play play hard, hard minutes. Uh, he's a thick kid. I had him in Toronto when I was there. And uh, I enjoyed having him there. And then when his name came up and if they could do it, I was like, yeah, you guys should do it. It's, uh, he's a good uh, he's a good guy for us, but he's also in case of an emergency up top, he can play some NHL games. Now the Ice Dogs focus in on the Texas Stars game number one of a two game set against them, and then you have San Antonio over the weekend on a Sunday. But this is a Texas team that's hungry for points, much like the Rockford Ice Dogs. Yeah. They're going to try and come in and grab some. They're in the middle of a nice little homestand too. What's the battle plan when taking on a team that's right there with you? Well, it's the battle plan is the battle for three periods, uh, not just when we feel like it. Uh, and what we did against Chicago offensively in the uh, ozone, we we had a lot of puck possession. We had some good opportunities, and we were patient with the puck. We just have to do the same thing here. Coach, I appreciate it. Good luck tonight. All right, thank you. Head coach Derek King joining us for the Four City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the Game as the Ice Dogs and Texas Stars collide tonight at HEB Center. Let's get you back to the action. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Dogs Hockey on the Hogs Broadcast Network.